Hi, in this session I'm going to show you how to quickly change formulas and formatting using find and replace. So first I'll do formulas. So in this example I've got formulas that are averaging the number between 1 and 9 and multiply it by 10. You can see it all equals 50. So you may have instances where you have a spreadsheet full of formulas and maybe you want to turn the formulas and change the functions into something else. So in this example, maybe I don't want to have average here. I want to have it choose a random number between 1 and 9. How can we do that? First, we're going to have to put this in formula view. To do that, we're going to use the control tilde. That's control tilde. The tilde button is right next to the number 1 on the keypad. It's, the, it's a squiggly horizontal line. So press control tilde and you will get formula view. So in formula view, what we can do is we can turn on find and replace. I'll use the keyboard shortcut control H. And what I want to do is I want to find anything that says average. So just to make it a little bit more specific, I'll, to, I'll type in average and then I'm going to type in ran between. So you have to be careful when you're changing formulas or functions with the find and replace and make sure you've got the exact one otherwise it'll give you an error. So it's always best to check beforehand what the actual syntax of the function is. I, I know that the ran between is spelled this way so I'm going to go ahead and click replace all and now it's made 105 replacements. Click OK, click close and if I go back into uh, the values view where it calculates a formula already by control tilde you can see now it has calculated that function. So if I go into formulas and click calculate now you'll see that it's recalculating that random number between 1 and 9 and multiplying by 10. So that's how you can change formulas real quickly using find and replace. So let's say now I want to change the formatting. So let's say I want to change the formatting of all these orange last number mentions and change it back into the default black and non-bold. So I'll go ahead and press Control H and look for the format color of the original, which is bold and color orange, which I've selected here. And then let's say that the last number for, excuse me, let's say what the the change that I want to do is I want to make it a regular font I want to make the color black which is automatic and I'll go ahead and click OK and I'll go ahead and click replace all and now you see that all the anything that says last number has been changed. In addition you can also change other formatting like the capitalization or this is another way where I can look for formatting that doesn't have all caps and maybe just have mixed caps for example this one. So let's go ahead and go into control H and let's type in lottery. Let's say I just want to change this one, the all caps lottery one and make it something else. So all caps lottery and then this format I'm going to clear it and for the final one I want to have I want to change that maybe I want to change that too maybe I'll change it to green to bold and maybe green okay and if I click OK I'll click replace all you can see now it's changed everything even that one which I didn't want it change so if I didn't want that one changed I, let me go ahead and click close and press control Z to undo if I press control H again and if I clicked match case, it's just going to change this one. Anyone that has all caps, it's not going to change the ones that have mixed caps. If I press replace all, you can see now it's changed everything else but this one here. So there's different ways that you can use find and replace to change formulas and formats. So I hope this helped. Thanks for watching.